Good morning again, friends, and happy Thursday. So today we're just going to be looking at this one picture or this one table, and this is all we're going to be doing today. We already started a little bit with this on Tuesday, but we're just going to go into some more details. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is our two different groups of African Americans. As you can see, we have one group here, and we have another group right here. And if you want to tell the difference, we can look at these two keywords. We have loyalist and we have patriots. So if you know this first, you know that the African Americans were generally slaves. So you could say that these were slaves who were loyalists and these were slaves who were patriots. Now loyalists were the people who wanted to stay loyal to Britain or they wanted to stay a part of Britain. They didn't want to become their own country. And these people were the slaves who were patriots who meant that they wanted to become their own country of people. So first let's dive into these African American loyalists who are the people who wanted to stay loyal to Britain. They fought for Britain in exchange for their freedom. So Britain promised them, they came up to them and were like, hey, if you fight for us and we win this war, we will, we will make you all free at this end of the war. And as a slave, that was very tempting. So a lot of them fought for Britain to become free at the end of the war. After the war, there was one stipulation or one consequence, and that was after the war, if they did become free, they had to leave America. So many went to Canada, many went back to England, and a lot even more went back to Africa. Next up, we have our African American patriots. They were the people who fought against these people, and they were free African Americans who had been sent by their masters, who were sent by their owners, and they were promised their freedom after the war if they survived. So this is our slaves, our African Americans, and then we have these people, we have the American Indians. They were really divided by the war. They didn't really have a set side that they stayed on for the entire war. They really fought on both sides. They seemed to really flip-flop between both sides depending on who promised them better freedoms slash better rewards at the end of the war. So we have the African American loyalists who were a part of Britain, African American patriots who wanted freedom, the American Indians who didn't really choose a side, and the last part we have is our women. So the women a lot of times traveled with their soldier husbands from battle to battle. Some of them even fought in the battles, but most of them set up in the tents along the battlefields where they cooked food for the soldiers, they sewed their uniforms, and they nursed the sick and wounded. They also, if they were not traveling from battle to battle, ran the farms, the shops, and the businesses in the place of the husbands and the dads because the husbands and dads were off to the war. So this is a brief overview of our four different groups of people, and we will be doing a sort later on in Google Classroom that will kind of dive into this deeper where you'll be able to sort each of these groups of people to where they go. And also you're gonna do a small writing activity where you're going to imagine that you're a child during the war. So imagine that you lived back during the time of the Revolutionary War and you're gonna tell me what you think it would be like. Have a great Thursday, friends. And as always, message me on Google Classroom if you need any help.